show you how to upload an SVG into Cricut Design Space. So I've had a couple requests for this video because of all the free SVGs and Cricut Cut files on my site. So recently I've been asked on this specific Game of Thrones t-shirt post. So that is the file that we're going to work with. So if you're looking for any of the free SVGs on my site and you're on a post, you scroll all the way down, scroll all the way down, excuse me, and you can grab those cut files at the bottom of the post. They'll go directly to your inbox and you can save those on your computer. So once you've saved them on your computer, go to Cricut Design Space and this is how you upload them. So you're going to open a new canvas and then you're going to hit upload in that bottom left corner. It's going to pull up this upload screen where you can click upload image and now you're going to browse for your SVG. So I've already saved my SVG from the inbox, although of course I've made it, so I have it. But this is the folder that you'll receive when you sign up for that freebie, and you're going to just select that SVG, which is the top file in the folder. You do get the PNGs as well, but the SVG is going to be crisper, it's a more complex file so it does have a little more detail when you cut. If you have the option between an SVG and a PNG, the SVG is always better, but the PNG will work. So we're going to select a SVG and it's going to pull up your image here. I'm going to put in a couple of tags. This is completely optional, but I do recommend it. That way once you've got a whole library of files, you can find your images really easy. So then go ahead and hit save. And it's going to save that to your library here. So here's our most recent one, the one we just uploaded. And we're going to click insert images. So that's going to put that image on our canvas here. You can pull it up to this corner just so you can kind of see it. And then on the right, it's going to show you all those layers with all the objects on them. So if I was going to hit make it right now, the way Cricut imports these in groups, it's going to be a hot mess. <laughs> it basically puts those images on the mat in the way that's going to use the least amount of vinyl. So it's an easy fix. What you're going to do is you're going to select each of those layers in the panel here, and you're just going to weld them one at a time. And that will keep all of the images and icons in the right place. Now you don't always need to do that. If you're doing something where it doesn't matter if it's in the right place, then don't worry about it. Just hit make it. But for something like this, where it would be a pain in the rear to rearrange all those letter letters, just weld it and then they will all pop up in the correct order. And now you're ready to go. So that is as quick and easy as it needs to be. Happy cricketing, y'all.